Hello everybody and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. We are back once again and I have decided I think we're going to take another shot at trying to take out the veteran mission to kill the Ringmaster. I'm very, very scared about this, I'll be honest, but I put together a party that I think works both story-wise and works for the actual fight. So if we take a little look here, we... um. We need a few different things. So we need backline damage, we need um, movability, and we need decent healing and stress healing. So I think I've got that here. So we've got stress healing here, we've got stress healing here, um, we've got decent damage on the first three here, and we've got the backline damage on both of these here. Uh, so I'm hoping that works out reasonably well for that. Um... Then here we've got uh, first three damage. We've also got finale if we need it. Um, then we've got the ability to buff and as I said the stress healing. And then this is my risky choice. So my thinking here is we have very little healing. Like our healing overall isn't great. But he has, he has some base level healing um, if we want to use that. In fact we could actually go and um, swap that out. Refresh limited use skill. It might be a good idea to go for that. Um, maybe... Maybe instead of piercing slash... So that's... Hmm... Which one of these would I want to get rid of? Minus dodge, damage versus marked. That's backline damage though. We, we, we want multiple levels of backline damage here. So it's probably one of these two. Um... It's between Nail Strike and Piercing, so Nail Strike has Armor Piercing and Decent Crit Modifier. Slightly less accuracy, but it does have higher damage modifier overall. This would move us back, though. Um, nail Strike. But yeah, I could go with this basically to refresh my limited use skill to basically use my self-heal more often, which I think is pretty useful. Um, it is also a stun as well, which is kind of nice. Um... It's not going to deal damage, but stun and knockback can be useful. Hmm. It just depends which one I want of these I want to go for. Because I'm going to be moving myself out of position. I need to be in the front two to use this, and I can use this from anywhere. Okay, I can use this from anywhere. Let's take off that one. We'll go with that, just in case here. Um. Okay, so that sorts us out. So we've got that backline damage going. I think we're ready to go. Yeah, I wanted to bring uh, both Little One and Lucio together because them two have some sort of affinity. Um, like I said, I'm a little bit worried about our healing. Basically, my th my thinking here is we don't really have any other great healers um, for this. And this clears horror, stun, and marked, which is very valuable. Especially the horror and the stun. That could be very, very valuable. And then here we've got the ability to... Uh, cr do crits received and then here we're, we've got the ability to uh, give a target a block which I think is pretty useful So all those are kind of why I've gone with that Pandas here. I'm a little th this is another one. That's a little risky. So basically um, The risk here is he has negligent which is terrible. He also has the plagic embrace which is also pretty bad um, So I'm a little scared on that front uh, That could spell trouble but what I've done is I've given him the Peacekeeper to lower his overall damage because I'm not that interested in his damage. I'm mainly going to be using these two. Um, and then what I've done is just in case, I've gone with the Usurper. So we've got higher accuracy, which is just nice. But then we've got a 5% chance to deal 444 damage, which super low chance that'll even proc. But if it does, oh baby. Oh, baby, it could be incredible. Also, we have Manslayer here, which is useful because we have extra stuff against humans, which I think is kind of nice. Um, and then Eileen, we obviously have to bring because it, she needs to take down this false um, this false ringmaster. So we've got the last laugh here, which is just nice for the frontline damage. We've got Flummox for backline damage, and we've got Grand Entrance for backline damage and movement, and then obviously Stress Relief if we need it. So this is, this is a group that I'm unsure of right now but i think story wise it makes some sense although i'd like to bring chaos but chaos just does not work in this group unfortunately um and i i think we're in a decent position to go ahead i've studied the last fight uh, i've gone over sort of what we did wrong basically our biggest issue was just not having backline damage now we have movability and backline damage so we should be 
at least a little bit more okay with that this time around. Uh, the fact that we have motivational is really nice here as well. I'm going to uh, be using that as, as and when we can. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be seeing how this goes, essentially. Seeing how it goes. Like I said, I'm a little scared because we could obviously have a death coming in here. But I feel like we've left it long enough. We need to charge ahead and take this as it comes. And these two we've worked with before and they work really well. I'm just a little worried about this, but I think I've got a plan. So if we go into our provisions, we can, um, for one, take a few Aegis skills, which we haven't done before. We can take four of those as well. I don't think food matters. In fact, let me check one second. Okay, yeah, food isn't going to matter. We'll take a few of these. A um, few of these... Definitely Loudenum, just in case. Um, we could also take um, these. Heals the body wounds, but inflicts uh, mental illness on people. So let's take a few of those as well. So we've got some healing in, in various manners here. Uh, and I'm going to take a hair of the sea dog to try and cure pandas, but I don't know if, it, if I can cure him inside combat, but I'm going to give it a go anyways and see how it goes. We also have one of these that could be, uh, like, used to clear, um, to clear stuns from the party, so we'll see how that goes, but we're going to jump right into it here, and I'm really, really scared, honestly. I'm really worried, but I'm <laughs> hoping this goes well. I'm hoping we can get this done and just see what we can get done here, so let's embark and try it. Into the hamlet once again. Let's go for a diary entry while we're here. And oh my god, I'm so stressed out, honestly. Uh, so we have one from Mean Police here. This is our grave robber. Um, big in the Sunward Isles. Dear diary, it took me quite a while to get here, but nevertheless. Um, hamlet. A town that has managed to be known for a lot of rumours and legends. Basically, the message of all the tales and fables in the same. A trip to the hamlet is a one-way road. But I didn't give a damn about all this when I decided to go there. The police are looking for me. People are looking for me, who want to pay uh, my family's debts. There's, uh, there's no quiet and peaceful places left for me. That's why I'm here. I introduced myself as Audrey. Let it be our little secret. However, it didn't really work out to tell um, about myself. As soon as I arrived, the next day I was equipped for a, a, a mission. Moreover, we did not go to the vicinity of the boring town where, according to the locals, there's enough danger, but to the east, in the lands that are teeming with monsters um, with a local flavour, yokai. In general, we were asked uh, by local residents to clean up the area for a particularly um, embittered yokai, who prevented people from living normally. Together with the falconer, she is an excellent bow wielder and has the same keen eye for riches. A cook, she was um, cooking right during the battle, an old lady with character, I like it and a gladiator slave. Do they keep slaves here? What a terrible decadence. This sweep was quick and unprecedented. In addition, we have collected many valuable artifacts. However, it didn't seem enough to me. Therefore, before sailing back to the hamlet, I walked around the isles and marked some places on the map. I hid one card in an unattended backpack and keep, uh, keep, there for my, keep the others for myself. I later give it to the captain of the local guard to the captain who doesn't uh, seem to like my presence, with a hint that it would be better for them to return to the east. And what would you know, dear diary? A week later, the ship sailed, set sail to the east. Yes, diary. I'm proud of it. Very intriguing. Okay, let's jump into this. As I said, I'm genuinely... My heart, my poor, feeble heart. If, if, the, same, if the same fate befalls as last time, I'm genuinely... Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. It's going to be so upsetting. But we've got to try here. We've got to try. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Human dartboard. That's bleed across the... Okay, that, that's really low bleed. That's fine. So yeah, we have this to heal and cure and stuff ourselves. Um... So yeah, let, let's go with this first and try and take out that backline dude because he was a problem last time. Um... That's going to move us forward. That's fine. We'll take you out. You're going to go with... That doesn't cure blight or bleed or anything. Crits received, we'll put on you. Hope the debuff takes. There you go, nice. Oh, guard is going to be a little annoying there. Does make it easier to hit the back line now, though. And there's the horror coming in. We're going to have to deal with that as and when it comes. Wheel of Death, is this the one that moves us around? Indeed it is. Indeed it is. Ooh, that is a very hefty heal there. That's, that's kind of annoying. Did I not bring any anti-bleed? God damn it, I didn't. Fool. Um, 
keep going for this guy. We can get a stun on him, maybe. Ah, resisted. I, I think he stuns. Yeah, he stuns really hard. You can't stun him. That's fine. Um, let's do this. The damage we're dealing isn't quite as high as I would have liked, I'll be honest. I need to try and get this bleed off of everyone. I really should have thought about that. Um, stress isn't too bad so far. Let's get this on everyone. Stage fright. It's a little annoying. A bit more stress. The move resist is bad. The accuracy is not great either. Luckily, we can heal from anywhere. So let's see who's on the lowest HP. 24, 23, 25. Let's go for you. Clears the horror as well. Uh, so that's a good one to go for. I'm a, I, like I said, I'm mainly worried about our healing at the minute. I think our health is going to be slightly problematic. But otherwise, I think I'm okay. You're buffing yourself up quite a lot. That's going to be a pretty hard punch there. That's going to knock us back. It's going to stun us, which is not great, but not terrible either. That gets some bleed on you, maybe. There you go. Lovely. So the Pelagic Embrace there. So let's let's try and cure that. Yes, that did cure it. Nice. I was hoping it would. Let's pop a little bit of healing on ourselves there. Um, let's go for another buff ballad. I'm a little worried about Lucio's HP right now. Especially them being stunned currently. So we can't clear stun off ourselves. But we, we could clear stun off the whole party, but it feels like a little bit of a waste right now. Um... Oh, that's a, that's a hit that we're looking for right there. That's really nice. You've got a lot of prot right now, which is slightly annoying. Bluster. It's not so bad. We start, we're going to start needing to do some stress healing in a second here. I don't like that we keep, they keep going for Lucio. Lucio's in a rough spot here. He's not going to be able to heal himself this turn either, which is slightly problematic. Wow. Okay. That, the healing might be more problematic than I expected here, you know? Might be more problematic than I expected. Go for a nice hit there, though. This guy in the back line's almost dead, which is good to see. Right, let's start doing some stress healing here. Stress healing's a little bit iffy. You're on 12, you're on 17, so we'll go for that heal there. Ah, oh, don't heal him. That's so annoying. Very annoying for us there. But that gets the backline one killed, which is super nice to see. Okay. As long as you're not dealing damage to him, I'm okay. Wheel of Death. Ooh, that's very big damage. We do get a repose there, because we're on lower HP, though. It's going to mix us all around again. Oh, my God. Uh... Let's do this. That'll cure that bleed off. We don't want to do finale here. The deck stab isn't going to do a lot of damage, but it is nice when we can get it off. Definitely heal ourselves up here. Unfortunately, a very, very low heal there. Which isn't ideal. Debuff. Minus... Oh, uh, that's why. Minus 70% healing received. I think I had that on at the time. Um... Flummox is going to minus speed. I can't actually hit you with that, though. I could go for some stress relief, but let's go for a hit. And, oh my god, I'm glad I did. Stage fright. It's mostly okay. As long as you don't stun me, I'm pretty happy. Punch on you is a little annoying, but we can deal with it. Luckily, we got the dodge as well. Good damage there. Nice, nice. Um, go for another buff across the board here that helps everyone. Oh, goddamn. Goddamn. Go for another one of those. And I've still got this, so let's do that. And then heal myself. There you go. Okay, that's, that puts our health in a way better spot now. A heal on you isn't too bad, it's mainly the buffs I don't like. Luckily you're aiming for the one that's not bleeding, so you do a little bit less damage. Pushing him to the back isn't as annoying, but the stun's worse. That's good damage there, though. Very good damage indeed. Stun's off. A stab coming in for just 5 damage, not great. 
stage fright isn't too bad, but this is already going a lot better than previously, so I'm, ha I'm, I'm happy enough. Let's take a look. We, You've got 18 HP. You've currently got 16, so we'll go for you. You've got a self-heal, so I don't want to waste too much on you. Unfortunately, Repose doesn't trigger on that. Come on, you're 6 HP off a of dead. It's going to hurt quite a bit and give us a stun as well, isn't it? Yep. They should kill the lovely it does. This enters the second phase now, which is pretty scary. I don't actually know what the second phase holds for us here, so we'll have to see. I'm a little worried about our healing across the board here. That's a huge crit there. I'm very happy to see that. I think she only has one move per turn, which is nice. The Encore. Thank God we dodged that. I'm going to go for this here. Gives us some restoration. It's not a lot, but it gives us some stress as well. The stress I'm not too worried about. Doing one of those. Do you know what? Let's start putting our Aegis on as well. We'll stress relieve you a little bit to get rid of some of that. Um... What's your dodge like? Your dodge is 21. Yes! Huge hit there. Oh, you got repulsed now, though. Okay, that's that was unexpected. Aegis on you. You've got 18, 17. Okay, we'll go for you again. We'll just start popping out Aegis as well we can here. This is going to hurt. Yeah, I wasn't expecting a death's door there, I'll be honest. Wasn't expecting a death's door. Repose didn't hit us, that's good. Don't go for little one, please. Ah, oh, no. Okay, we dodged it, good. Little one can heal himself, so I'm hoping we can. Don't go for him again, thank God. Oh, dude. Look at this, look at this. You've got bleed on you, let's just go for the kill. No! No way! What? I'm speechless. Every enemy in the game can't repost if you kill them first. Every single enemy in the entire game cannot repost if you kill them first. Oh no, I did not expect that at all. And he didn't even survive the death blow. That might be just a mechanic. It, it just insta-kills anyone on death's door. I, I should have put an Aegis block on him. I, I just, that's not how the game works. <laughs> oh. oh my god, I'm shattered. Honestly, I'm shattered that. I... So much misplay there, but oh my god, little one, no, you were, you were one of the best of us. Little one. You are one of the good ones. Oh my god. Oh my god. We do have a keeper here. Um, oh, what a what a huge mistake that was. I I was like, okay, I could heal him, but if I heal him, she could get another turn and like hurt someone else. So I was like, I don't. I just was like, let's just end the fight. And oh no. Oh, she just has a different mechanic than every other enemy in the game. But how was I to know? How was I to know? Oh Lord. Oh, that is truly devastating. But we, like I said, we have a keeper here. Keepers can heal. Um, keepers are kind of interesting. Oh.
Let's bring on a keeper because it's another healer. I'm like a robin's egg. Oh no. My heart honestly it's pounding. That was that was horrible. <laughs> that was... Oh no. So many regrets. I could have just given him an Aegis just in case. But he just why would I think to do that? That's not how the game works. Why would I think to do that? Oh, my goodness. And we did it. We got the ringmaster dead. But oh boy. At what cost? At what cost? Little one. He was... He was so precious. I loved him. Ah. Oh. It's so sad. It's so sad. Oh my god. I don't know what to say. Oh, right. We also have a Houndmaster as well, actually. We haven't got a Houndmaster on board yet either, do we? Let's bring on a Houndmaster as well, why not? A lawman and his faithful beast. <sighs> a bond forged by battle and bloodshed. I don't even know what to say. What a monumental error. I'm sure some of you could see that coming from a mile away as well. I just... Just, it's not how the game works. The game doesn't normally do that. It's so frustrating. Oh my god. Anyways, let's read some of the other diaries and potentially do another a short mission. What do we have available here? Um, do, we have a, do we have a short? We have a short here. We go for this. We have a short here as well. Probably go for the Warrens one. Okay. Right, let's read a diary and then get back to making a group. Oh my god, I can't. I can't believe it. I felt so confident. What? I just... There's so many different ways that could have gone. She had bleed on her too. I could have just left her to die by the bleed. Ugh. Anyways, rock her in with inner demons here. Chaos sits in the sanitarium. Though not out of uh, the previous forced, wa uh, forced way by choice. He sits across from one of the doctors. Well, Chaos, the fact that you chose to be here is great progress. What's the matter? He shifts again, but sighs. The thoughts are returning, Doctor. The thoughts? The ones where I grind my teeth, where I want to see crimson, where every little thing makes me want to smack those damn fools for... He clenches his fist, but then he takes a breath and relaxes. Those ones. I don't want to be that anymore. Well, as said, you're making good progress to help yourself by coming in when you see the problem. He slumps his shoulders, leaning on his elbows. Yeah, Doc. Uh, Markov said to doc markov said to deal with it before it happens well what is the one motivator for you to be better i'm sure dr markov told you this is an um, excellent way to keep you focused on progress he stands um, and places his hand flat on the wall i have a few but one recent thing skewed me as if a bolt from bacilla a, a, a basilisk sorry right okay Got two more diary entries. Let's go for a short mission and try and do a little bit better this time. My god. I feel so bad. <laughs> uh, Warrens, we can do good with bleed, right? So let's uh, let's bring out some of our bleed party. Um... Hmm. But we're really running into a problem of not having enough heals. Like, significantly. It's, it's such a big issue for us right now. We just never have enough heals. I could take a risk and go without healing and just try and use um, Reclaim. Which is obviously very risky, but kind of intriguing. I'm certainly up for that idea. Y'all not really great in that position. How about Anton? Anton could do some good stuff from there. But without, like, a short mission without healing, it could go really bad. <laughs> you never know. 
Minus 20% damage there, that's not a problem. I'm going to take the risk. It's it's a big risk. Oh, definitely want to drink it up first. Um, so let's go with bleeding stuff here. So we'll go with that. And where's our other bleed trinket? I can't remember if it's legendary or not. There it is. And then here we want to go... Let's just go full damage on you. Go with that. And go with that. Then we'll go with damage on you as well. We'll go with that. And we'll go with... That, I think? Nah. Uh, that. And then you. What do I want to do with you? I don't really know. Debuffs, maybe? Go with the Daruma. Um... And do we have anything else that we can use for good debuffs? I could go with a salamander so we don't need torches, potentially. Ignore stealth, that could be useful. And debuff chance is potentially useful too. Yeah, we'll go with that. Cool. Because uh, that, that works with that debuff chance on there, doesn't it? Okay, let's try that out. This is a bit of a weird setup, definitely. Um, but let's let's jump on in, take some provisions. Let's grab all of those and some of these... Just as some some healing to have with us. Uh, we'll take all the food we can. We'll take two shovels. Well, yeah, we'll take three of everything. Why not? And then torches. We can take like 12. 12. That should do. Okay. Let's, let's try this group out. Uh, we're all able to hit everything from here, aren't we? Yeah, we're all good on that front. Let's embark and see how this goes. Right, diary entry. We got another one coming in here. This is uh, by Mean Police. This is from our powder keg. Uh, not entirely useless. Oliver sat down at the table and, uh, taking a pen, began to write down the events of the past week. But before he does this, Oliver will tear um, out the ink stained page. He doesn't want to remember the context of how the page got stained. Tearing out the page and then crumpling it and throwing away, Oliver begins to write. Week 52. A week ago, a strange person in worn but expensive clothing with uh, excavation tools arrived in our cursed town. This means two things. She is a poor um, archaeologist, 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 or a uh, marauder. But the heir didn't want to figure out who she was. He sent her on a cleansing mission to the Sunward Isles. However, as soon as she returned, she handed me a package and said, Here's a map for you. I also hid many other maps in the backpacks on your way. Have a good treasure hunt. I brought this information to the air and found myself together with the Guardian of Never, the Duchess, and Bacilla on a ship that sailed to the east. Results of the second mission to the Zumwood Isle. The Marauder was not lying. Thanks to her map and marks, we found a lot of valuable things. Among them um, were things that can't be found in the hamlet. I had an argument with Bacilla while I uh, wanted to search backpacks for the presence of the Marauder's maps. There's no difference between yokai and the creatures that keep the hamlet in fear. I don't care about their origin and nature. All the creatures of darkness are the same and must be destroyed. This expedition showed me that I am enti uh, not entirely useless, despite, uh, despite my torn um, rota, rota? rotor and previous expedition. I dare to say, with, the, with a group of Never, Duchess, Basilla and me, we can cleanse the courtyard with ease. Very intriguing. Right, let's move forward with these guys. See how we do. This is just 90% of room, so we'll see what we can get done. Uh, I'm not looking for to get too much gold or whatever out of this. We'll just get what we can get. I really just want to be in and out as quickly as we can here. And I think this group should be pretty good for doing that. Like, we're, we're all damaged, so... We should be able to hit pretty damn hard. Everything got a good chance of being bled here. Try and take out this piggy before he does bad. That bleed will kill him, actually, so that's good. And we got bleed on this as well. Even more bleed there. And then we'll go for this as well to get that debuff going. Nice kill on that guy. We want to make sure we kill this guy before the guy up front. Because otherwise we'll be in for a bit of trouble. He'll uh, do damage to the entire party. So we'll try and uh, work around that. But it's not always possible. It's just what we can get done. Ah, yeah. See, there you go. That's a problem. This guy's going to basically lob all of his crap all over us now and deal a ton of damage. He re did he resist that bleed? Okay, no, he didn't. Um, ten. Okay, he's dead anyway. It's good. Yeah, this 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 uh this setup of people we're gonna be doing pretty good work, I'd say. 
pretty good work. We're also going to get some antiques from taking Falconer with us. Aphrodite's going to do some good work there. Now, these guys do react to blood and bleed and stuff, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. Let's go for the back climb. Hit through all that. Honestly, let's just go the, go the incinerator. That actually probably wasn't a great idea, looking back at it, because now I have to heal that off of myself. Oops. Precision and power. Oopsie, oopsie. Not the most logical decision I could have made, but hey ho, here we are. Reforge. That's not going to mean too much. The siphon could give us diseases, so we've got to be wary of that. Oh no. <laughs> really shouldn't have used that attack now, because now we're in a very rough position here. So let's uh, do this. The bleed amount applied also applies to us. Okay, that's not what I expected, let's be honest. Good, good. Destroy them all. Why you gotta go for him? Why you gotta go for him? He's ble- Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> this has gone terribly. I should not have used that attack. He's got restoration, so it shouldn't kill him. Thank God. Resisted the bleed this time. Right, cure that goddamn bleed off. I should have I should have brought more bandages with me. For, to be fair, good hit. Give them no quarter. This Whatever with that. Least promises success. Do that. Give you a little bit of food. Aphrodite, you can open that up. This has not gone great so far. Considering we've still got a lot of rooms to go. Oh, dude, we're getting so many bad enemies as well. The crits received should hopefully help a lot on these guys. Try and take out the big guy first. This may be a mission where I have to bail from. Let's be honest, like... Don't use that again, fool. Okay, that's a nice crit, lovely. Lots of bleed damage on him already. Nice dodge. Dodge is, is really what we need here. Roaring disengage, that doesn't do too much, does it? That just stealths you. And we can bypass stealth with one of our characters anyway, so that's nice. Red hot perker. That's a bit of a mark, that's fine. More crits received. The bleed is going through this anyway. It's like, you're dead anyway. It's nice. The bleed is just insane with this group. It's very, very nice. Gotta take out that back line guy soon. Brand isn't going to do much to him. Because he is... He's not dead, actually. So it might, it might let him de deal quite a bit of damage, actually. Let's hope not. Why are you go for Anton? Anton's a cute little dude. He's just chilling. Okay, you're dead now. Good. Clear some stress, why not? <laughs> While we're here. There you go for that crit. And the one person that can self-heal is getting literally no ability, like, no damage taken. Right, good, good. Keep that going wherever we can. In radiance, may we find victory. Another nice, easy room here. Can't eat any more food for healing now. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Another room with no battle is very nice. The way is lit. The path is clear. Can't believe I I'm, I'm still so upset about little one. That was. Just a monumental error on my part. A handsome reward for a task well 
well performed. Never would have thought it would have worked out that way. Never would have thought. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. Okay, this is good stuff. Is made clear. Lots of easy rooms to get through. Only one battle remains. We've only got one heal remaining, but that should be enough. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Fortunately, our curios have been kind of terrible so far, but such as it is. How many shovels did I bring with me? Okay, I brought three. Good. Back through. Last bit of food. Come on, don't give us another check. It shouldn't do at this point. It should be fine. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it can anyways. Okay, let's go in and see how we go here. We should be fine. Oh, yeah. I don't know what the hell this bullfrog is, but otherwise everything's fine here. Good damage. Good debuffs. You're almost dead. Wow. Could get some disease here from these guys, so we got to just be aware of that. Oh, it, it ate that thing and healed a lot. And buffed itself for... Ooh, okay, that's a very interesting enemy. Luckily, it can't do that anymore. Um, can't do anything here. Oh, wait. We can do that to de-stealth. Tongue Lash. Ooh, boy. It's a hard-hitting thing. That would have been movement skill as well. Oh, it can devour bodies. Okay. 60% max HP. Okay, this thing this thing just becomes kind of like a boss. Go with minus accuracy on you then, I guess. Bleed the ever-living hell out of you. Yeah, so much bleed. You might be dead actually already. Yeah, you're dead already. Nice. This 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 group did a mighty good job. A little bit scary at times, but it went okay. Why'd I get rid of the Jade? That was so silly. Anyways. All good there. We can thingy. We, we need to pick up some new healers here real fast, so I'm trying to do that as I can. Good, good. Bad humors there isn't ideal. Everywhere else we're looking fine. A fresh irritant to some. Okay. A sanguine memory to me. Trinkets. We've got some decent stuff in there. Please say we have some healers coming in. Still no healers. Damn. We really, really need some level 3 and 4 healers coming in. It's getting it's getting a little upsetting. Can we actually get level 4 heroes in the uh, stagecoach yet? We need to get... A weaponsmith. Okay, that's rank 5. Okay, that's already rank 5, okay. So... Boom and boom. In the end, every plan relies upon a strong arm and tempered steel. And let's go with... What, what, what do we need to trade for that? Let's go with portraits then. Portraits. Boom, bow. Okay, we can start getting in some level 4 recruits now, which is nice. That'll be helpful. <clears throat> okay. Right, either way, let's do our last diary entry and end off the episode. God damn. Ugh. My soul. Anyways, Inner Demons Part 2 by Rockerin. It was me and Huxley. We were in the woods together. Huxley, the Doctor Probes. Yes, uh, Pamela's young boy, the woman who... A, a short chuckle as he continues. The one who puts up with me. He ba um, He's barely into his tenth winter. We were in the woods searching for dinner. I'd get the meat, he'd get the vegetables, and his mum would cook it up. The doctor muses for a moment. Yes, Miss Cartwright. They, lo uh, they lost their father to a plague years ago. Chaos rests his head against the wall. Yeah, a good man from what I hear. Anyways, we were talking of the creatures of the dark, and it came up uh, of why he looked up to the mercenaries. He said it was because they were heroes, even if they were sometimes messed up. Their hearts were in the right place. Then he said it. Said what, Chaos? The hulk of a man turns, trickles of tears making his way down his face. 
He said I was his biggest hero because I took the hurt for others and I brought a smile back to his mother's face. He waves his hand, of course in an innocent kid way. But when he said that, I didn't feel normal um, revulsion to the thought of being called a hero. I wanted to live up to it. Well, Chaos, a hero is strong, but a true hero knows they have weaknesses and hopes to improve them. Another short chuckle. Yeah, yeah, Doc. So if you can, uh, so if you can, can I talk with one of the folk to help this? Of course, Chaos, the doctor said while figuring out, out who to assign. Very intriguing, indeed. But yeah, unfortunately, that didn't go quite as planned. Um, a very monumental error on my behalf, but I, I, I at least hope you guys can forgive me. I, I had no idea that was going to play out the way that it did. I could have played it a lot safer, but I didn't know I had to. I just thought I was going to end the combat and that was going to be it. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.